Hal fights himself in Green Lantern issue 50. On the pre-Flashpoint Earth, Hal sits in the ruins of Coast City, the city he was unable to save in time. In the New 52 universe, Parallax looks out over Coast City, amazed that it is still here. He vows to defend the city as he once did the entire sector of space. At Jim's apartment, Hal launches a surprise party for Howard arriving home from the hospital. He gives the boy a remote control drone and his sister and mother take him to fly it in the park. Jim has a talk with Hal, who feels responsible for what happened to Howard at the carnival. Jim tells him that he couldn't have known that there would be a terrorist attack at the carnival and to stop beating himself up about it. Out at the park, Howard plays with the drone Hal bought him, but it becomes stuck in a tree. Parallax arrives and removes it, amazed that his family are still alive. Sue tries to get them to leave, but Hal arrives, attacking Parallax. Hal thinks that this is just another shape-shifting alien he's encountered before, and to test him, he talks about a childhood memory, something that only a real Hal would know. Parallax has Hal's memories as well and wants to see his family, but Hal tells Jim and Sue to leave. Chaining up Parallax, Parallax, Hal tells him he is leaving and never coming back. Parallax lets the fear bug take over, attacking Hal, who hits him with Krona's gauntlet. As the smoke clears, Hal is amazed that the weapon did nothing to Parallax. Throwing Hal around the streets, Parallax tells him that he is from a different universe, saying while he protected others, no one protected his home, and he is going to prevent Coast City's destruction from ever happening. Hal manages to stop Parallax's attack, telling him that Coast City was destroyed, but it was rebuilt. He says that there is a fear infection inside of Parallax and he needs help. Parallax unleashes his fear energy which engulfs Hal, causing his gauntlet and Hal's power to activate, turning him into a construct. Parallax leaves the planet, vowing to find more power and to take Coast City and Hal's life. Hal returns to Jim and his family, saying something has happened to him. Ah uh, yeah, pretty cool issue 50 of Green Lantern. This was kind of like a extra sized issue which I guess from like now till issue 52 or the rebirth issue is what these issues are going to be. These are like giant sized issues. I think this one ran like 40 odd pages or 35 pages or something. So yeah, it was pretty cool. It was interesting. Uh, and I guess now Hal is a construct, I guess. I don't know whether it was like an art mistake or whatnot, but in the two ending pages you see how like the power the construct that he was sort of go away and then when he goes and sees his brother he's the construct again like don't know whether that was like an art mistake or something or whether he you know to go see his brother he activated the power again so he could fly but it wasn't really made clear and it could be an art mistake these books have had art mistakes in it before i think the last issue of Green Lantern actually had a bunch of spelling mistakes. They called Coast City, Cost City and everything. So I wouldn't put it past them. Uh, but it was pretty cool. I like that Parallax, he wants to protect the city and like obviously to do so he has to kill Hal because he thinks Hal is responsible for the city being destroyed, like himself responsible. So in killing him, he will sort of save the city, I guess. Um, and it's really cool that they actually still reference that Par Coast City was destroyed in this New 52 since the Green Lantern is one of the books that kind of like their history with like Rebirth and Sneshed Core and all that sort of continued on in a weird way because of like the universes and like source walls and everything. It was really weird but it's cool that they sort of kept it and I guess now Parallax leaving Earth and going to look for more power which I guess he's looking for more Parallax power maybe he'll go after the Sinestro Core which was near Earth again it's one of those creativity over continuity things of when they were at Earth, but I imagine they'll go after Sinestro and Saranic and everything and try and get Parallax from Sinestro so he'll have the Parallax of two universes and I wonder if he will factor heavily into Rebirth. It's very interesting to see where they're building these characters up to and going into Rebirth. I'm very excited to see what they're going to do with Green Lantern. I'm going to give this issue a 8 out of 10.